sick Democrat ad shows Trump supporter murdering minority kids, Patriots fight back. The Democratic Latino Victory Fund released a horrendous ad showing a white Donald Trump supporter driving a truck in search of murdering minority kids. The ad features a Confederate flag and a license plate on the truck with a Gadsden flag, which Tea Party groups adopted, and they claim that the white male represents a Trump voter. Well, you'll be utterly shocked by the viral ad, but luckily, patriots are fighting back against the hateful leftist rats. The disgusting ad is being used in Virginia where the Democrats are trying to defeat GOP candidate Ted Gillespie. Virginia is a purple state with changing demographics, and the Latino Victory Fund is an organization which wants open borders and amnesty. Gillespie stands in their way, so they put out what is doing described as the most racist horrifying ad ever seen in American politics. The Latino Victory Fund released an ad featuring an Ed Gillespie supporter with a Confederate flag and a Gadsden flag license plate attempting to run down minority children. The ad asked whether President Donald Trump and Ed Gillespie would condone this behavior, reports Briette Bart News. The ad also features footage from the Altrites Unite the Right rally in August, and the announcer asks, is this what Donald Trump and Ed Gillespie mean by the American dream? This is not an attack on Ed Gillespie anymore, said Chris Levitt, Gillespie's campaign manager. This is an all-out attack on the people of Virginia. This latest ad gives a clear indication of just what Ralph Northam and his National Democratic allies think of all of us, and it's sickening. The Virginia Democrat gubernatorial campaign did not disavow the Latino Victory Fund's attack ad on Gillespie and Trump supporters. Gillespie's Democratic challenger is Ralph Northam, and his spokeswoman Ophelia Heskell admitted, independent groups are denouncing Ed Gillespie because he has run the most divisive, fear-mongering campaign in modern history. It is not shocking that communities of color are scared of what his Trump-like policy positions mean for them. Right. Gillespie, of course, is not running a fear-mongering campaign, he is running on the same issues which got Trump elected. Safe streets, border security in the form of a wall, lower taxes, and prosecuting illegal aliens. If you are a law-abiding citizen, there is nothing to fear. Gillespie adopted Trump's populist stances. Gillespie's campaign took a populist turn when he said that if elected governor, Gillespie would tackle the problem of MS-13 gangs in Northern Virginia and sign legislation to ban sanctuary cities. Democrats argued that banning sanctuary cities and protecting local Virginia communities from dangerous gangs such as MS-13 amount to racial stereotyping of immigrant communities, reports Breit Bart. Well, Americans are aghast at the ad. They are letting the Latino Victory Fund know they have gone too far. All they have done is stir up patriots who love America and most of all are not racist. It's a slap in our faces to make patriots out to be racist who would hurt little kids. Absolutely appalling. Northam, who is currently the lieutenant governor of Virginia, has had a star-studded roster of Democratic guests on the campaign trail, including former President Barack Obama, former Vice President Joe Biden, and a fundraiser in New York earlier this month headlined by Hillary Clinton, reports Fox News. Northam and any other Democratic candidate is going to need more than the losers who helped Hillary. Let them raise more money. Let them keep up with the same tired racist talking points that failed her. The Democrats love banging their head against the wall, and they keep doing the same thing wondering why they are losing to Trump-backed GOP candidates. It really is quite telling. They have no vision at all. This is the whole Democratic strategy paint all GOP candidates as neo-Nazis. Well, that just shows their complete desperation. People care about jobs and about their kids' safety, and no one in their right mind thinks there are 65 million neo-Nazis in America who voted for Donald Trump, the whole thing is ludicrous. I often ask these losers what did Trump ever do as proof that he is a Nazi? I have never gotten an answer, only anger from leftists who refuse to use facts in debates on Trump. As horrendous as that ad is, it proves one thing, they have nothing else. This is great news for President Trump and all patriots who are striving to make America great again. They'll continue to call us racist murderers, and we will continue to win, you to win.